Hey everyone, this is Mr. Oris. Today we're going to take a look at our grade sheet and how to record our map data onto our grade sheet. So your teacher is going to give you a handout and it's going to look a lot like this. See, this is my map scores. What I have on it is I've got my first score in math, my first score in reading, and my first score in science. Any second test that you've already taken, like my reading, this is my second reading score. And because I just finished math, I could actually take a pencil and we could draw in what our second math score was that we just finished. Like I got a 229. And on the right, what we'll see is we will see our student projection, what we are expected to get based on our first score at the end of the year in the spring. And it expected that I would get a 230. And what it did is it took my first score and basically drew a line and said, if I scored 225, this is where I should end up. And you can see how my second score is right in line with that. In reading, it does the same thing. It takes my first score and it projects where it thinks I should be. Now you'll notice by my third score at a 219, I've already beat it with a 224. And in science, the test you're gonna take next week, you've got your first score and you've got a projection. And what we'll notice on the right is we'll see these RIT scores listed in a table form. There's my 225, that was my first test in math. And then on the very right, we will also see what's called a percentile range. That percentile tells you a comparison. I've got 48% in my percentile range. That means I beat 48% of other eighth graders. Well, that means that 52% beat me. So the 48 percentile kind of shows you a comparison. And you'll have that for every subject. When you look at your language arts, you'll see your two tests. At the bottom is fall, your fall score, and your fall percentile. And then above it, if you've finished your reading, you'll see your winter 17 score, RIT score, and your percentile range score. And the goal of this is we could take all of this information and we could actually put it into our spreadsheet. So what we've done thus far is we've created a sheet to record your grades on from Progress Book. Well, one of the things that we could do is we could actually build in a, a spot to record your map scores. And instead of duplicating this, because this is all related to grades, I'm going to head down here to the very bottom left and use this plus sign to create a brand new sheet. This sheet we can rename and we could call it your map scores. On your map scores, we're going to take the information that's basically found on this handout and we're going to start plugging it in and we'll create our own graph. So in A1, I'm going to start with mathematics. And I'm going to plug in these dates that I take my tests. I took it in. Sorry, the fall of 2016. I took it again in the winter of 2017. And we will take our final one in the spring of 2017. Sorry. Spring of 2017. Now in B1, I'm gonna record the first thing I'm gonna look at from my handout, it, that's my RIT score. In the fall, in math, I got a 225, and I just finished and I received a 229 on my winter score. Next thing I'm gonna look at is my percentile. On my handout, it shows me my ranking. Now in the fall, I got my report that said I was in the 48th percentile. However, in the winter, since I just finished my test, the only thing I know about it is my score. I don't know my percentile yet. It has to compare me to everybody else. In D1, the final thing we're going to record, and this is if you know it, and that's the time it took you to take your test in minutes. So, For example, it took me 32 minutes to finish my test in the fall, and now it took me 50 minutes. And what we see is that the more time we take, the, the more careful we are, our RIT score tends to improve. So, because I need to do this for reading and for science, it'd be easier if I just copied my first table. Let me copy that information. Skip a couple lines, maybe I'll go down to A7 and paste, and it'll paste that exact same table form from mathematics. And I'll change it, I'll make it my reading. I can delete all my old scores and start to put in my new scores. So over here when I look at reading, remember I got a 216 in the fall. I went up to a 224 
in the winter. And it does have my projection of a 219, and I've already beat that. I'm going to just try to improve on my 224 for the spring. My percentiles, again, I was a 47th percentile in the fall, and I went up to the 63rd percentile in the winter. That shows a great improvement. Now time, it took me 50 minutes the first time I took my reading test. The second time it took me 55 minutes. I spent a little bit more time, my score went up. Finally, I'm gonna to try to paste that table in for science. And we'll change up our math one. Now I only have one set of data so far on science. I've got my RIT score from science. I scored a 213. I've got my percentile from science. That was a 59th percentile. And I don't remember how long it took me to take my science test. Maybe my science teacher will tell me that later on, or maybe um, I'll find that information um, later. We can leave things blank that we don't yet know. So now that we've pulled all the information off of our handout, if we go back into our full screen mode and we make a graph of each subject, it's really easy to make a graph just like we made a graph for our quarters. So I'm going to make a graph that looked a lot like this one, which is a comparison of my subject scores. So to make a graph, we select the table or the data that we wish to graph. I'm going to go up here to insert, drop down to chart. The first one is a really good option. The only problem is I don't want to compare my RIT to my percentile to my time. I'd like to compare equal things. I want to compare my RIT scores and the time it took. So in chart types, let's choose to switch the rows and columns. And what that does is it now compares my RIT scores from fall and winter. It'll con con, um, compare my percentile scores from the fall and winter when I put it in, and it's comparing my time. So the last thing let's change is let's customize it. Instead of the title, which is all listed down here at the bottom, it's in mathematics. So what I want to do is I want to say this is my math map scores. Well, insert, just like a picture, we can move it around a little bit. I'll make this nice and easy to read and I'll put it next to my math scores. Okay, we'll do the same thing for reading and for science and we'll call it a day. Everyone, uh, keep checking your grades online. Good luck with your map. Keep improving. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.